Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 back with a review of Wave 4 Build-A-Figure Despero of the DC Universe Classics line as well as a review of Wave 4 as a whole. Now this is obviously Despero right here. Okay, quick little bio on Despero. He appeared in the first issue of Justice League in 1960 which was volume 2? I'm not 100% on that. But um, back then he was very scrawny. He was um very infatuated with playing chess. You know, not not a very cool villain. Now then he was from a planet called Kalinor, if I'm pronouncing that right. And they had some kind of this thing they called the Flame of P Pytar, Pytar, something like that. P y t a r. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But um, basically he got bathed in that, and he became super powerful. Well, strong. In the comics, he's actually been able to hold his own with Superman and Captain Marvel, so he's obviously very strong. Okay, now on to the figure. As you can see here, he looks like a commando, really. His belt does not attach down here, which I thought was disappointing. Okay, he had a pretty nice head sculpt with the fin and the third eye up here. The Sparrow has mind control powers, if anybody didn't know. His articulation is alright, but if you put too much stress on the arms, they will pop out and you'll have to reconnect them. Which is a little disappointing. Uh, his rifle fell out. The legs are also a little stiff, and the buckles do not attach at the back. Now, obviously since it just fell out, here is his rifle, which on the back of the box it's shown as just a black rifle. There's actually a lot of nice detail on this thing, which is pretty cool. And you'll see on the back here it has a little indention. You just clip it on like that. And it stays very well. He also has his pistol, which is here in its holster. Okay, let's get both of those in his hands real quick. Yeah, so overall the figure's articulation is definitely lacking. And while he does look cool, there's definitely some issues with the things not connecting. As well as his ankle joints are horribly loose. You can't really pose him without him going, like, see, he rotates all the way down. And it's really hard to get him to stand, especially holding the weapons, which add a little more weight. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, but it definitely is an issue. You can't really see the weapons like that. You can see there, the pistol also has some detail, some blue, and so on. So, he's a cool figure, but I feel they could have done a better job. So I'm going to go seven and a half, a little above average. His ankle joints are horrible, and his articulation could use some work. But there is some nice detail on him. So seven and a half on Despero, pushing him off to the side here. Now on to my review of the line as a whole. Okay, there's Wonder Woman. Now I gave her an eight. I thought she's the best um, female out of the DC Universe Classics line, counting Harley Quinn and Big Varda. Her posability was good, but not unreasonable, and her detail was very good. The one thing I didn't like about her is her axe, I felt, was unrealistic, so I replaced it with Hawkman's sword. Okay, Cyborg. I, oh, if I didn't say I give one woman an eight. Um, Cyborg, I thought this figure was not good at all. His paint job was terrible. I felt his hand accessories were lacking. I gave him a 6. Not thrilled with him. Captain Adam. Now, he's probably the only figure besides Wonder Woman that didn't have something horribly wrong with him. So, I gave him a 7. He was cool, but there wasn't anything special about him, so 7 is average. Batman Beyond. I gave this character a 6. No detail in the Batarang, and probably the worst joints out of the DC Universe Classics line that I've dealt with so far. And Ares. Ares I gave a 6. Detail, the um, detail on him is probably some of the best in the DC Universe Classics line. He's a little bit taller. There's a lot of chips and notches in his armor. But his legs slide apart all the time, making it very difficult to stand and pose him. There's also, his articulation is kind of hindered by the man's skirt he's wearing, and his weapons did come bent in the pack. So I wasn't 100% thrilled about that. 
Now overall, I'm going to rate this line as a whole a 6. It was very disappointing, and I've had a lot of people before I bought, started buying this web complain about the quality control issues. And being here, I've got to say they were absolutely right. I think the main complaints I had was Wonder Woman's lasso breaks off, which it obviously will since it's so, fra it's so fragile. Cyborg's paint job was horrible, which I'll agree with. And the other big thing was Batman Beyond's legs broke off, and seeing how my joints are, I don't doubt that a bit. Okay, but this is JTrain 997 so the line as a whole, well the wave as a whole gets a 6, the sparrow gets a 7.5, and, and I'll see you soon YouTube. Also, I wanted to correct myself on a lot of the reviews I screwed up talking about the variants, so I wanted to go over the variants really quick. Okay, Wonder Woman does not really officially have a variant. There is an Artemis figure out there. I have not found her, but actually watching a few other reviews on YouTube like Andrew Cutters, I'm actually really interested in her now. I've actually picked up a trade based on one of his reviews, and it's fantastic. So I am looking for her, and you will see a review of her whenever I get her. She's not really an official variant, though. Okay, Cyborg. Now, he had a KB exclusive variant, which was him with a different attachment for his arm, which is a sonic emitter, I think is what they call it, just a little dish. My KBs closed down, as did all KBs, and mine closed down years ago before they ever started making DC Universe classics. So I obviously didn't see his. Oh, my bad there. Captain Adam. Captain Adam had a gold variant, which was obviously based off the series Kingdom Come. And that was normal, but I did not see it. Okay, Batman Beyond. He also had a KB variant, where it was him with a Terry McGinnis head mold, and he came with a mask and that would go in his fist like he had pulled it off. In hindsight, really wish I would have gone with that one, because this Batman Beyond is flat out terrible. And Ares, I do not believe, had a variant. So really, everyone in the line had a variant but Ares. Okay, but sorry for the tack-on. This is JTrain997. See you soon, YouTube.